Acknowledgement of God in Space, the Apollo Space Program. Apollo 8 astronaut Frank Borman, during the first mission to fly around the moon, radioed back in December of 1968, looking back at the Earth from 250,000 miles away. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the Earth. Matter of fact, astronauts recited the entire first chapter of Genesis. And that's when Madeline Murray O'Hare, an atheist, filed a lawsuit. But nevertheless, the continuing acknowledgement of God happened. Apollo 11 blasted off from Cape Kennedy, July 16, 1969, being the first mission to walk on the moon. In Proclamation 3919, President Richard Nixon stated, Apollo 11 is on its way to the moon. It carries three brave astronauts. It also carries the hopes and prayers of hundreds of millions of people. That moment when man first sets foot on a body other than Earth will stand through the centuries as one supreme in human experience. I call upon all of our people to join in prayer for the successful conclusion of Apollo 11's mission. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed their lunar module, the Eagle, and spent a total of 21 hours and 37 minutes on the moon's surface before redocking with the command ship Columbia. Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon, stating, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Buzz Aldrin was the second man to walk on the moon, but before he got out of the module, he had communion. Buzz Aldrin, in an interview with Guidepost magazine, July 20th, 1989, the title of the article, A Meal on the Moon, a little known fact about the Apollo moon landing, revealed that during the planned rest time in the Eagle before they disembarked, he had a private communion service. He said, I silently read the Bible passage, I am the vine, you are the branches, as I partook of the wafer and the wine and offered a private prayer, I could think of no better way to acknowledge the enormity of the Apollo 11 experience than by giving thanks to God. President Nixon spoke to the astronauts on the moon via telephone saying, this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made from the White House. The heavens have become a part of man's world. For one priceless moment in the whole history of man, all the people on this earth are truly one, one in our prayers that you will return safely to earth. President Nixon greeted the astronauts on the USS Hornet, July 24th, 1969, saying, the millions who are seeing us on television now feel as I do, that our prayers have been answered. I think it would be very appropriate if Chaplain Perito, the chaplain of this ship, were to offer a prayer of thanksgiving. Addressing Congress, September 16th, 1969, Commander Neil Armstrong stated, to those of you who have advocated looking high, we owe our sincere gratitude for you have granted us the opportunity to see some of the grandest views of the Creator. These astronauts' names became household words, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Matter of fact, Buzz Aldrin became the inspiration for the character Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story movie. America has had a unique history of men and women of faith doing very courageous things. And now it's our turn.